Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. Have an interesting critique platform here. It's going to be video, obviously. You're watching it, but I'm going to go through some photos on Instagram for a request. Uh, the request was a, a little bit more specific, but I, I saw some issues here that uh, I really wanted to highlight. So the, the team here is getting ready to present the colors for a formal dinner, it looks like. And uh, we have uh, not all three toes aligned with the rifles. And you can see how the barrel of this rifle is uh, uh, angled a little bit forward here. And uh, But everything else looks pretty good except for the belt keepers. So the keepers are the little metal uh, things that you need to uh, need to squeeze real hard so that they stay in in, in place uh, Not so much that you can't move them at all, but uh, they should be an inch from the buckle on either side and then for Color guard you need to wear chin straps down. It doesn't matter whether you're inside outside whether you're even in a church well if you're in a church then you're not gonna have your caps, but uh, chin straps need to be down and then here the the uh, the texas uh, state flag is not authorized to be carried uh, for a color guard uh, colors presentation like this it should be the uh, at least the organizational flag for junior rotc if not the air force flag and then here really nice setup here for the team to uh, bring in the hats for the POW MIA hat table ceremony. However, I would suggest that you curl your fingers back so that you hold on to the brim. You're, you're gloved, so that's a good idea to do that. Uh, but the team looks, looks good here. This isn't a good look. This isn't good at all. Uh, Please don't put the chairs like this. Don't lean the chairs up against the uh, the table. It, it looks awful. It's an eyesore, honestly. And there is no need to have chairs at the table. If you want chairs at the table, fine. Push them in. It's a smaller table, and that's good. You can get you can get a little bit too small, and then you can get really large tables. And uh, this seems to be in between, and it it looks to be. Uh, uh, a good uh, uh, a good size for what's going on here for the the hat table ceremony but and that's fine uh, but but this is it's all it's an eyesore and it's also a safety hazard having the legs sticking out it just it honestly it just looks bad here we have a sword cordon uh, for the uh, VIPs uh, those who are being recognized for awards quite possibly and uh, the team is doing a nice job. The sword needs to be an extension of your arm. So as you bring the sword up, you're going to push that push that thumb down so that the sword actually looks as though it's part of the arm as it's sticking out. So here you can see this is almost uh, uh, an extension uh, for each one of them. Uh, here it's a little bit of an angle. Uh, and same here so it, it needs to be uh, for each team member and then eight is the the max for a sword cordon now here i'm not sure if the the team is is coming down with the swords you know uh, that's usually reserved for a wedding and and no other time but the swords really should not meet somebody should be able to pass through so that the swords completely miss their head and if they're going to walk through uh, with let's say walk through with a date then the sword you need the, the team needs to be back far enough so that the swords are able to not hit anybody or even come near their heads and if the, the team can't step back far enough then the sword height needs to or the sword angle really needs to be uh, <clears throat> Uh, much uh, much greater so not too uh, not too bad though but see uh, but I'm I'm guessing with this other cadet here that the the swords are crossed here for a reason and that swords aren't supposed to be crossed at all so we'll finish with that one and then we'll go to there we go 
All right, colors presentation <clears throat> for the uh, there we go. Uh, sorry, computer's acting up on me. The colors presentation for the school that's great. Cheerleaders, really, you need to be looking at the team on the court. Just because you have a, a an American flag over there, the the colors presentation is the the formal colors presentation is right here right next to you and everybody needs to be looking at the team that's on the court that's the whole purpose of a formal colors presentation uh, texas bearer you need to be aware of uh, keeping that spade flat and really again you should not be presenting the texas flag uh, teams have have presented their state flag for <clears throat> Well, forever, uh, because of uh, a misunderstanding with what goes on at a competition, and I get it, uh, I I do, I I understand that completely. So what I'll do is down below I'll I'll put the the link to the article that I've written uh, regarding that. Left hand here is too high. Left hand should be right there at the uh, the metal of the upper receiver. Uh, hand needs to be completely wrapped around, not just the index finger here. And I know that the team is using the Army standards. They're forced to in competition, uh, because mainly because they're in Texas. So I I, I get that. That's not a problem. <clears throat> Good look at parade rest. Again, chin straps should be down. And then the team uh, looks to be keeping uh, a good distance. And then if you have finished presenting the colors, then the colors... Uh, uh, you need to be exiting at port and you can look at the hashtag on Instagram at uh, for port for color. Yes, port for colors. That's the uh, the hashtag that I created to describe what is supposed to happen for a team. And let's skip down to here. We'll see that uh, these metal staffs are not authorized at all for any military color guard ever at any time anywhere. So need to lose those staffs uh, right away. Team looks good though, set up. Although here, are you at parade rest or are you not? So lead guard, you need to have that rifle pushed forward. All the fingers need to be extended and joined to the side of the rifle and also to the side of the staff. Then also wrapped around, not flared forward. Nice pictures of the team. That's great. Belts could be a little bit tighter in between the the uh, uh, middle and bottom buttons. And then we'll skip to here. I, I wanted to, to look at this one. Uh, feet are a little off. Guards, you're, you're almost uh, closed toes there. Left hands, again, need to be at the metal of the upper receiver when at port or present. <clears throat> so why are you at angle port? That's what I, well, it's a pseudo angle port. It's almost angle port. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing maybe the, uh, uh, maybe the, the, the ceiling is a bit too, uh, a bit too low and you can't actually be at port or trail arms, uh, but angle, it, it works. <clears throat> the team is doing well. Uh, at least the guards are at port, and that's good. Everybody being at port, that, that works well. This doesn't, though. This is mixed uh, mixed positions. The guards should not be at, at <clears throat> right shoulder if the colors are at port. So, uh, and I get it that uh, all three service manuals are, are lacking in, uh, in direction for color guards, especially... So it just uh, it just makes makes it a little difficult, and and many of the teams do the best they can with what they have. So just looking through a couple of uh, colors turn off here. So <clears throat> if you see the state flag bearer is locking his knees his or her knees 
uh, well before the leg is uh, is coming down to make that step. So there's a kind of a a, f- a flick of the foot well before it's supposed to, it, it the the heel strike comes. So the leg is fully extending before and then coming down with that heel strike. It's a totally different uh, uh, technique here, and it looks quite out of place. So it's an almost colors turn. And s- see how the other members here, their legs extend, but they're, uh, they're also coming forward for that heel strike, whereas the, the Texas State uh, state flag bearer then is, is bringing that foot back kind of a chop step type of thing so anyway that's all i wanted to uh, to cover for this critique and i appreciate o'connor high school requesting that uh the the critique i know i went a little bit more in depth than uh request was requested but i i felt it necessary when i saw a couple of other photos so thanks very much